If you chose snails, you're correct. Snails grow shells that follow a logarithmic pattern. Another animal that uses math intuitively is a dolphin. Dolphins, like spiders, use math in amazing ways. They actually find each other in water by making clicking sounds, and then as the sound waves travel, they hit the other dolphin and rebound back. And the first dolphin uses the length of time it takes for the sound to come back, as well as the quality of the sound, to work out where their buddies are. Did you know dolphins could calculate with distance and time? If they could also speak human, they could be your algebra teachers. Animals use math intuitively all the time, and so do sports players. Have a look at another of my students now who's an expert tennis player. What math do you think Caroline is using intuitively as she makes this forehand cross-court shot, a forehand down the line shot, and a backhand shot? You probably noticed that the angles Caroline chose were really important for the shot she made. She was intuitively using other math too, such as distance and time. If you play or watch soccer, you will know that soccer is also about angles. When a goalie positions herself or himself, she cuts down the scoring possibilities by limiting the angles available to a striker. Having a good sense of angles is really important to being a good goalie. So we've looked at math in tennis and soccer. I also have two students who are amazing dancers that we're going to see now. So first we're going to watch KK and Erica perform a partnering dance sequence and think about the maths involved. Now let's see some of the math inside the dance. Now it's your turn to think about the math. We have a couple of short clips for you to watch. And first, we're going to watch Erica performing some ballet. After the video, you'll be asked a question. We see lots of math in that clip. Maths of patterns, balance, and angles, for example. Let's think about the angles for a minute. Which angles did you see in the ballet moves? <laughs> 